this one right here. Right now he's buying the, what do you think the nifty 50 cards? I like the thickness, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And that's, uh, I think that's my rookie card if I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah, it would have been 87, 88. I think what they tried to do with this one, yeah, was try to get your rookie picture. So the year that you, you yeah. did the 50, they try to get that picture. So at least one of those pictures. So uh, I guess what Tracy wanted to talk to you about is uh, I was able to buy one of your, or actually a few of your sticks off an auction. Oh, yeah? And this is the first time uh, we've created a, a card like this. What we did is we cut it up, put the tape from your stick, from a game use, game use stick, and put it on the card. So that's, that's actual hockey tape on there. Yeah, that you taped up and you put it on your stick during the game. Wow. So we bought the stick, cut it up, and now we're going to have you sign it. Man, oh man. That's thick too. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of players uh, love these cards. There's not too many out there. There's only a select few. But, uh, <laughs> Now, Joe, when you were an aspiring professional NHL player back when you were a kid, hoping, dreaming one day to have your own hockey card, did you ever in your wildest dreams think that it would evolve to the point where you're autographing your hockey tape? <laughs> no, it's uh, come a long way. I think I was around when the, what was the year when the f hockey cards first started? Man, what, it, well, the, uh, they've been around for a long time, but, but they kind of, boomed in the early to mid 80s. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. So I know when, we, when I first started, it was really, really cool to get your first hockey card, but but now you're getting things that uh, are so thick and so sturdy, you could, uh, it'd be good if I was still living in Toronto, I could scrape the ice off my <laughs> <laughs> Might hurt the value of them though, if you did that. I don't know, I've never really thought about it, to be honest with you, but one thing I know is that uh, it's, you know, everything is advanced in our game as far as equipment and the caliber of play, and so is the so is the hockey card. It really has. I mean, these this is upscale stuff, and I can see why people really go after this kind of stuff. It's really good. Well, a card like this with your game used jersey, uh, you know, there's only this is a one of one, so there's not too many of your jerseys floating around. So no. uh, that's definitely worth some value. I was actually on ho on this one. I was hoping you could. Uh, Inscribe it along their signature HOF uh, 11. Where would you like to sign this one though? It's uh, sort of like this right here in the bottom, just nice and fat, and then uh, inscribe it right next to yeah, it. I'll try it. What do you want me to put? HOF 11. That's awesome. So now every time you sign, you actually have to do HOF. Yeah. Well, <laughs> That's kind of like the rule. You don't have to do that, do you? I noticed Donald McGinnis was doing that the other day when I saw him in that All the uh, HOF guys do that. Not on cards, but on, you know, anytime you go to shows or... These are cool, man. Where do you get all these cards? <laughs> do you ever look at... I mean, you're, you're absolutely one of the most celebrated, decorated legends in NHL history. Is there one or two of those accomplishments that, that you look back on with the most pride or... Did you win so many honors that they all run together? Well, no, they're all special. I, uh, I think you know, I, I, I don't know if I rank any one higher than the other, but just the, what it, the time periods that I played for the, the respective teams and what we went through to get there. I mean, starting in Calgary uh, with a great group of guys and a hockey crazy city was uh, was awesome when we finally overtook the Oilers and. And, and won the cup. Um, you know that was a special group of guys. But then here in here in Dallas, just the the build up of you know predominantly a football town mm -hmm. to do what we did in the mid '90s and then ultimately winning and uh, capture the hearts of uh, Texans. It was a really cool experience. So I think it was more the the time periods of building up to the championship and uh, the how we got there it was kind of a neat process. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Hall of Fame edition of Panini Unwrapped. Very special episode today. Joined far, far right. That's Alex Carbajal. You guys know him. And you probably know this gentleman here. This is none other than Joe Neuendijk, legendary NHL player, newest Hockey Hall of Famer. So let's see. Conn Smythe, Calder Trophy, 
college All-American, three Stanley Cups, mm -hmm. uh, soon to be Father of the Year, I'm sure. <laughs> Gee, um, yeah. Joe, thanks for, for coming in today, man. Uh, thanks, Tracy. It's uh, what what's it been like for you in the in the few days since the uh, Hall of Fame announcement? Uh, it's been good. It's been uh, a lot of calls, a lot of emails still that I have to get back to because I uh, I've been busy with my regular job and I haven't been able to get back to everybody. But what a thrill! You know, you play 20 years of your career and then uh, a few years later you get the call that you're going to be in the Hall of Fame with some. Uh, uh, players that you grew up watching is pretty and it's a neat thrill. Well, it's well deserved, and, and I can tell you we've never had someone as legendary as you on an episode of Panini Unwrapped. So we're going to do luxury sweet hockey, which is one of our newest products. Uh, four packs in this bad boy, and uh, one of the hardest parts is just getting getting the wrapper off. Yeah, it's as as you open that, I just love how Joe's very busy, can't get back to anyone, but he's here with us today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are. Uh, Honored, absolutely, and, and Alex has put a lot of blood, sweat, and everything else into this. Wow. And, all right, so whoever has the worst pack out of us three is going to get the fourth pack, all right? Now, as you open these, when's the last time you actually opened a pack of cards? Uh, you know, surprisingly, uh, probably at some point this year for my son, of course, he uh, loves his panini cards, so. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we're sending you home with some goodies, so I'll love panini even more. So as you open these, uh, kind of just give us a little background about some of the guys or the cards or anything in general. Well, I'm amazed at uh, how far cards have come. You know, the days have changed where you thought you were going to get uh, 12 cards in there, but you've got three thick ones, and they're, uh, they're beautiful, though. I mean, I've got uh, John McCarthy here, a young upcoming player. Of course, everybody knows uh, Pavel Datsuk. Uh, he's one of the best. And uh, Stephen Camper, Ricky, a rookie, Ricky card so. and signed. Yes, and yeah. signed. Even Hard better. signed card. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about when you see that Datsu card? What what comes to mind? Well, I, you know, I played against him a little bit, and I, I marvel at watching him because he's still uh, an unbelievable player. Um, you know, it's hard to find a. a player like him as consistent as he is uh, just the, the, the two-way game that he plays so I enjoy watching Pavel I, I, I think he's probably one of the best Russians that we have in our in our game today and uh, I always uh, I always uh, stop and watch when he's on the ice. So you make a trade for him? Uh, I, I don't know that Kenny Holland will do that <laughs> but uh, he would certainly be a player that would look good in Dallas Stars colors. <laughs> now if you had to have one word or a one sentence to sum up your thoughts on Dustin Bufflin, what would they be? Well, uh, mammoth power forward or defenseman, I guess. <laughs> That's uh, right. You know, he, he, he kind of uh, opened everybody's eyes last year with the Stanley Cup run in, in Chicago there. And, uh, you know, to, to get a guy as, as versatile as this guy, he can play forward or defense, and he can play mean, he can play uh, finesse. So. I think the uh, the now Winnipeg Jets have a uh, have a player that they can build around. So I got a uh, got Ryan Getzloff here with the Anaheim Ducks, uh, nice. and he has a game used jersey in this card and game used stick. So a little bit ago, you were actually signing some of your sticks that were yeah. chopped up. I apologize for yeah, that. That's okay. <laughs> and some of the tape. So what what did you think about those cards, and what do you think of these these cards? Well, I I thought uh, those cards were pretty remarkable actually I didn't I didn't see any cards uh, over the years with um, some of my sticks as part of the card but uh, you know I used wood the whole way through so those cards are probably inexpensive to make because I think all my sticks were $29 a piece as to most of these these composite sticks are I don't know what they are $200 a yeah. stick or, or whatever they are so but uh, you know very innovative very uh, very classy looking and uh, real collectors I Great. Well, we couldn't have said it better ourselves, man. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate you All right, coming thank in you. today, Joe. Appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.